Okay, so I have this valve body out of this 07 Cadillac CTS. The transmission is built. Uh, the only thing left to do is the valve body. So I'll be filming that. Uh, we're gonna do it, uh, doing the intro now after hours and tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll get into uh, taking the valve body apart. Now I, again, I'm gonna probably make one video out of some footage that I have because I have footage of me vacuum testing the actuator feed limit valve. You can see the, uh, the vacuum was low. We put the oversized valve in and then vacuum tested again and it was what it should be. But we're gonna be doing all that, but I'll probably, I don't know, edit it somehow where I'm doing the actuator feed limit valve maybe from the other uh, transmission because that we're using the vacuum test and stuff like that. So, but we're gonna open it up, uh, go through the different sections, uh, the solenoids, the accumulators, there's four of them, we're gonna be marking them. Again, I have my Dremel, I'm gonna be putting a one and a one, so I don't mix them up, and we wanna keep that particular accumulator intact with spring and everything, so we're gonna do those one at a time when we change the O-rings on them. Uh, I got my heat gun to heat up the uh, clips here to take them off uh, to remove that from the valve body so that's out of the way and I guess that's about it so we'll start doing this tomorrow morning we'll get rid of the harness first we'll make our markings with our accumulators and then we can go ahead and take the valve body apart there's a few different sections there's two different sections here and then there's two underneath with check balls and stuff are so we'll go over check ball locations all that stuff with this 5L 40E valve body uh, all right so I guess that is about it and we will pick it up tomorrow morning and overhaul this valve body all right back with you this morning so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this harness and we're going to use the heat gun just to heat the plastic up because it does get very hard and brittle because when we go to disconnect the solenoid most of the time they break so let's heat it up soften them up see if we can't get them out in one piece all right just got to plug this thing in it's not working okay. Those were the three shift solenoids, so now we're going to do the lockup and the EPC.
going to cool down for a minute. Oh, this doesn't plug it. Okay. Speed sensor I'm just going to leave hooked up. So here is our harness. All the clips are good. Just going to do one, two, three, four, and also make the same here just to make sure everything goes back the way it should. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, we got one bolt each that's holding each section of the valve body on. So we're gonna take these off first. either going to be a 27 or a 30. It is a 30. Alright, so we're going to get the accumulators out here. Just make sure we're good here with the angle. Four. All right, so when we get up to it, the accumulator piston is inside here, and we will just put new O rings. spring here. I'm going to have to find out about this. I do have another valve body and I know it is out of a Cadillac. So I'm going to check it. All right, so we got a broken spring. Actually, the first time I had a broken spring. I'm going to see what kind of, uh, look in my uh, book and see what they say, if they give me the free length and the thickness of the coils. Uh, I should be able to find a spring because I do have valve bodies here. Okay, so that is that. Let's just get rid of this oil. Got a piece of the coil broke off. Okay.
body should come apart. Okay, so this should lift off. All right, and here is your actuator feed limit valve, EPC solenoid, lockup solenoid. On these 5L40Es, reverse is fed through the lockup solenoid, so if you have a mechanically clogged solenoid, it's a possibility you can have no reverse. Okay, let's get this section off. No check balls in these two sections here. screens there. All right, so we're going to change these gaskets. They should come off. Unless they, yeah, they probably will. All right, then we got a bunch of check balls here. But then we have to take this set. There's another gasket here. All right, another section like a channel plate with a ball and spring. And that one went right here. So we're gonna mark these check balls here. Let's just take this ball and spring out. Okay, so that should be it. Should be anything else in here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a ball and spring ten. All right, so let me get a little closer onto this section and we'll mark everything. We'll take the check balls out. And then pretty much uh, wash everything up. I gotta get these gaskets off. Wash everything up and put it back together. In the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can also find a spring, but let me just reposition here. Give me one second. Okay, so let's mark these. here for the spring of the ball. And there's one more, two more. These do uh, do vary. So we got one, two, three, four, five with the ball and spring. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve check balls in this one. Right now we have a gasket on this side. 
for the channel plate there. So we're going to take this off. flex in this anyway. Alright, so let me clean all this up here. I want to look for a spring, which I don't think will be a problem. And I'll be back with you guys in a little while. So we got the whole thing apart. Uh, now I just want to clean everything up, flat sand everything. Alright, so I have my stone here. get these gaskets off of here. I don't know how easy they're going to come off, but I might have to soak this a little bit in the tank or something. But all right, so let me clean everything up and then we'll go from there. So I'll be back with you guys in a little while. All right, so I got everything cleaned up. I'm just still working on the separator plate getting the gaskets off. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to take the TCC solenoid valve and spring out and the EPC solenoid. I was vacuum test vacuum testing the actuator feed limit. It's like really really low like the board's way worn out so we're gonna do that again. But let's get five solenoids. I have the EPC, the TCC, and one shift solenoid. I'm waiting for two more, which I won't have probably till tomorrow. Ok, 
Okay. There's that valve. Goes behind the uh, token brick clutch. All right. Now again here, actuator feed limit. So we're going to vacuum test through right here and see what it brings us. I mean, according to what I'm looking at, the machine is calibrated correctly. And it seems to be way worn out. Okay, so first we'll double check the calibration, so we put it here. All right, now when we turn the machine on, it should have five uh, inches of vacuum, and then when I block the hole, it should go to 25. Okay, so I have five. Right at 25. So we're good there. Bring it up a little bit, and a little closer in. All right, so this really isn't gonna. I would, you know, check it off camera. This thing didn't go past like six, and I, I, I checked other valves and valve body, and you know, the machine seems to be working okay, unless this board is seriously worn out. Side here. So what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to get set up, all right, and I'm going to put, this is the oversized actuator feed limit valve uh, and transgo. with the reamer here. All right, so we got a an orange, a red, and now we need a white spring. So these three springs, Okay, there's a white spring in there already, so we don't need that. All right, so we're set up here. And then that is what the setup will look like once it's in. Real heavy springs behind these actuator feet on the valves. Okay, so let's just move this, put this here, and let's take this out. So easy to get out with these springs here.
So it is the spring behind the valve, you know. So these are pretty beefy springs here. All right, and here is the valve. So let me get set up. I'm actually going to do it this way so I can um, watch it kind of go through. And I know when it bottoms out. All right, so let me get set up. And I'm going to mount this thing on a board and then anchor it to the bench. And then we'll get some cutting oil. We've got to get my drill. And... I'll run this reamer through. All right, so give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. All right, so I got this anchor to the bench. And I'm just going to read this thing very slowly. Now the cut is going to get a little heavier. Let me clean this up again, and we're going to vacuum test it again. Give me one second. All right, so I got it cleaned up. Here is the new setup. Okay, so this should just drop right in. And the fun part is getting the <coughs> valve stopper in with all these heavy springs. you guys are going to be able to see here. I apologize if you really can't. Okay, a little too small. Okay, got a different uh, screwdriver here. I should be able to control this a little better. So, let's hit this thing with the vacuum tester again. Uh, let's just... Successful reaming and excellent vacuum test. All right, so let me get all my pieces together here. Let me get rid of this stuff because we're done with it. I know we're going to go ahead and start putting this valve body back together. 
and then we got the accumulators to do. And also, I did find a spring, and it is uh, basically the same free length, and coils are the same thickness. I, I, like I said, I have another 5L40 valve body here, so I took it from there. All right, so let me get set up here, and I will be back. All right, so I'm going to start putting this valve body back together. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we got a gasket in between these two halves, okay? So we're going to grease this up, make sure that gasket stays on there. After this is done and back in the car, like I said, I'm still waiting on my shift solenoids. Uh, we're going to reset the shift adapts and this will have to be driven around probably for a day or so. You know, something with these caddies, they just take a little longer than normal to adapt. Okay. Like this. So now we're going to do check balls, and I will pause, give you a close-up shot of the check ball locations, and then we'll go and continue. So let's get these back in first. Let's see what they did me in the kit. Okay. All right. So let me uh, give you a close-up shot right on top, so you can see the check ball locations. Um, but give me one second. I'll switch angles. All right. So let's go through this real quick again. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and this is a spring, and nothing here, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right, 5L40E. All right, so I'll reposition, and then we will continue assembling this valve body. All right, now let's take a look at the valve body gaskets. We actually have two different gaskets here. Okay, so you have the one side uh, against like the channel plate, if you will, and then the other side against the valve body. All right, so if you look at the difference, one of the differences in these gaskets, for instance, here, okay, you have an elongated open hole, and here you have two, two holes. All right, so the one with the elongated open hole is gonna go against the channel plate so the check balls can do their job when needed and then the other one gasket will go against the valve body all right so the next thing we do is we just set it on here and just turn it to make sure the holes are blocked okay that looks good 
All right, so this plate is gonna go on like this. Okay, so let's turn this over. Set this in place here. And we got the check the spring. Okay. Okay. All right. So the again, I have one uh, ship solenoid. I'm missing two, but we can do those. Uh, after, so I'm going to set this on. You know what? We need the manual valve here. Let's take this back off. Let's put our manual valve in. Let me get a, a bolt here. Now, body bolt to case. Just to make sure everything is lined up here. Right, let's loosen this back up. leave this loose. Just got to make sure all these things are lined up. Okay. And then we have this section now and we're going to go ahead and put the TCC valve and spring in along with the solenoid so that doesn't fly out. Okay.
just get a couple of bolts in back here. Now we're going to be working on the accumulators. going to tighten anything down yet. Just stand tight. Okay, so number one with the broken spring. And here is the replacement. So the, the um, basically the free length is the same. You know, if it's a half a coil uh, or a coil longer, it's not really going to matter, but basically it's the same, and the thickness of the coils is exactly the same. Okay, so that's one. All right, so now... So let me just um, clean these up here. What I'll do is I'll put the uh, springs in. You know, I'll, I'll clean up a couple to show you, and then I'll, um, uh, you know, it's pretty basic. Just got to re... I, I lay the O-rings out. I get the right size as I put them on, grease it. So let me just clean this up, and we'll do a couple of them together. Okay. So let's take these old sewers off. a little too big. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks good. If you want, you can take a little scotch bright on the inside and uh, just get the glaze off. That's fine. Okay. Sound like a good seal. And then you just go ahead and set it in place here. Get rid of 
these. So I'm going to clean this one up. We'll go through that one. Um, and then pretty much, uh, you know, torque everything down and finish it up. All right, so let me just clean this up. Give me one second. Okay, so let's do the seals on this one. Alrighty, number two is done, and then I'm going to move on to three and four. Uh, Alright, so I'll be back, uh, and we will finish this up. Alright, so let's tighten this valve body down. Now, I kind of have a couple of line -up pins. These are actual valve body bolts that go in, because uh, you want to make sure this thing is lined up, because if you go to put these bolts in and they don't go in, you got to loosen everything up and refit it. So... Let's tighten these two down, 100 inch pounds. Okay, and you kind of just, that moves good, that moves good. Okay. Tighten a couple here. Good. It's also moving good. Okay. I'll get the rest of these. All right now we will do the accumulators. go. Good. Good. Okay. Comes right out. Comes right out. Very nice. Our numbers all correspond. So we're good here. Right, so the only thing we're going to do now is we have our pressure control solenoid. Right, and 
we have one ship solenoid. I guess we can go ahead and put that in. That. So I got solenoid C is A and B, which I'm waiting for. Uh, but that is it. Um, once I get these solenoids, I'm going to have to get this thing together because I got to get this back in the car. So our manual valve is good. So we're all good here. Everything is tight. Actuator feed limit valve uh, reamed out, larger one put in. New solenoids going in. We found the spring. So we are good to go with this 5L40E for this 07 Cadillac CTS. So that is all for this. So I thank you guys for watching the valve body overhaul. Have a great day and we will see you next one.